Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Empire Earth, Earth Empire, or something like that. I'm Mysterious JG. I do have a little bit of weird graphics when I alt tab in and out of this game. This, these hex li hash line, these lines across this image, I, I don't think they're supposed to be there. I think we can all get past it together, guys. Because it's time for the third, or sorry, the oh no, I I lied last time. We have food gathering and economy to do. Oh, no, I lied last time. I said we were doing building up. Shame on you, JG, from last week, assuming I upload these once a week. Wait, it's time for food gathering and economy. Tutorial 1, the basics. Learn about the skills of your citizens, blah, blah, sorry. Discover additional ways to gather food. You will also mine for gold. Yeah, no, we can't skip that, guys. We need to learn about this. This is the colony of Gades. Uh-oh, Link's not going to like that one little bit. The Phoenicians have exhausted the precious metals around New Tyre. So colonists have been sent out to secure new sources That's of That's great gold. how I timed that, but I stopped talking You are in charge of one of the newfound colonies, hmm. called Gades, on the remote Atlantic coast of Iberia. Wait, Gades? Your That's... Goal is to turn not, small not Ganon, Gades. Major mining operation. To do so, you will have to learn how to hunt, fish, and farm to feed your people. Once you have stockpiled enough gold, commercial vessels from Tyre will arrive to... You mean old home. Tyre? Lead the Phoenician colony of Gades to prosperity. But it's, it's, yeah, Gades isn't the enemy of Link and Zelda. Gades is the uh, sinistral of destruction. So, I mean, obviously a big bad dude, glowing, you know, sort of bluish purple armored death knight with glowing, you know, destructo wave powers. Um, but he's not from Legend of Zelda. He's from Lufia. So I've clearly I've just lost it. Look at the history here. Like the history of Phoenicia herself, the story behind the colonies she established is pieced together primarily from archaeological evidence. The trading colony of Gades was probably... I wonder if Amon and uh, Arim and Deos are also references to Phoenicia. <laughs> but anyway, the colony of Gades was probably founded in 1104 or 1103 BC. The name comes from the Phoenician word Gutter, meaning wall. Which is why, even today, Larry the Cable Guy honors Phoenicia when he says, Wall done, or get her done. Researchers assume that at some point, substantial fortifications were built to protect the city. I should say built. Guys, I know it's uh, 20 years later, but I hope, you're, I hope you realize that you made that uh, typo. Perhaps the wall... I just, and here, he, me went off on this whole thing about canon and when it was actually Gades. I mean, none of us are perfect. I forgive you, makers of Empire Earth. Perhaps the walls from which Gades became known were built to keep out increasingly aggressive Greek raiders who came to challenge Phoenician maritime operations. At this point, we're fighting tigers by hand as we gather uh, melons last time. So if we're supposed to be uh, fighting off... We're supposed to have maritime operations. This is This is a big jump from where we were last time. We know it was Greek piracy that led to the foundation of the most famous Phoenician city of all, Carthage, built in North Africa specifically to protect ships traveling to and from the distant Spanish port of Gades. Today, Gades is known as Cadiz. Oh, I did not I see they could have led with that. I would have had a lot more idea what was going on. But here, sure enough, um, Iberia, North Africa, Mediterranean, okay. <coughs> and there's the River Bacchus. Or no, Betis. Never mind. <laughs> Anyway, let's load the game. Are we going to get some named characters and dialogue here? The power of the Phoenicians continues to grow. By now, your people have they established have nice many distant houses, colonies, though. including Gades in ancient Spain. But the colonists in Gades are struggling to survive. Gathering wild vegetables is no longer enough to sustain them. The time has come to hunt wild game. Hmm. A flock of ostriches can be found east of your town. In fact, you can already see them on Send screen. Send your citizens to hunt them. To hunt, select your citizens and right-click on an animal. Once killed, your citizens will harvest the meat and drop it off at your town center. Yeah, I see that tech. That technology didn't exist when we were fighting tigers. This is weird. I, I distinctly remember building. Don't forget oh. to create more citizens at your town center and have them gather lumber as well as food. You'll need the wood to construct buildings. Don't forget to build settlements near resource sites when you find them. I thought I remembered uh, building... Um, okay, it did keep our points. I thought I remembered building... Um, Toma. 
Yeah, it's hoping to minimize its travel distance. of your distant mining colony will only be assured when you have a total population of 20 citizens. This goal will require more food than simple hunting will provide. You must teach your people to fish. Search along the coast until you sight fish out in the open water. Some likely areas have been marked with flags. Uh -huh. Gar can do that. Oh, we're in the Copper Age. That would be why we have fancy houses. But I remember a scenario where... In addition where to sending citizens to specific to destinations, like you can have guy. them explore the map themselves. Mm. To do this, select a citizen and then click on the round explore button with the telescope and compass on it. Citizens on exploration duty search the map until you give them a new task to do. So I will, once I get to this flag, I'll want to drop a... Uh... When you have found fishing sites, you will need to build a dock. Docks are used to produce fishing boats and other vessels. Have your citizens construct a dock on the shoreline near the flags that mark the fishing sites. Um, but I distinctly remember there being a scenario where we... Um build naval transports and there was like a priest with the mask and I just I remember having gotten like emotionally engaged with saving this tribe of primitives and getting them away from danger to a new island and um maybe that maybe maybe that's a completely different game doesn't seem Your to be part of this complete. now you need to make a fishing raft which requires wood nah. when you have enough wood the fishing raft button becomes active at the dock click the button to make a raft you can queue up more than one if you have enough wood. Kalos. Kalos. The fresh maker. I just hope we don't get attacked by uh, armies of organized tigers. <laughs> that kind of thing gets old. I mean, if we're going to need uh, wood on this one, let's see. Forging gather rate? Nah. Wood gathering. Nah. All these technologies are good if you're probably playing a longer game than this one. But there's going to be a certain amount of waiting around here, guys. How much food is there? 450. These fishing rafts look like they're going to be jolly. Looks like there's just a guy on a piece of wood going, Rawr! Okay, that did not help it. Oh, see, there's dramatic music when you kill an ostrich there. Let's have you explore. We can populate, but they haven't explained that mechanic yet, so... Doesn't seem like the food spoils, like... I guess what to do is, when, when they're returning to base with all they can carry... We'll take a look here. 50? 49? Okay, it does spoil. It's, they, they're borrowing a lot from Age of Empires and Age of Empires 2. The food counts on these things go down. So the more people you have gathering, the less waste there will be. But We got somebody exploring. We, we got enough wood for a fishing boat, and I wasn't paying attention, so shame on me. Because it does look like that will be our primary way to get food for a while. Your first fishing raft has been launched. To have it fish, select it and then right click on a school of fish. It will gather fish in the same way that citizens gather food. 
by flipping stuff backwards. Okay, you now have nothing to do. Uh, the hell, let's have you explore and uh, you explore. Hopefully everyone doesn't explore all in the same direction. <laughs> but they can be finding other places for us to set up stuff, you know? Or they might find tigers. But those tigers were very much plot tigers, I have no doubt. What are we actually trying to do this time? Uh, build at least one fishing raft, build a dock. Oh, 20 citizens. Okay. Well, having people who do nothing but uh, explore is probably not going to be that useful because I doubt there's a huge amount of reward for full exploration of the map. But let's, uh, let's get more people going because that is the, the objective here. I wonder if uh, the fishing boats count as people. I mean, they're being operated by people. You guys are not even. The colony is thriving, but more food wouldn't hurt. Okay, it Maybe is I got more to stuff to teach us. To do this, you must first here. build a granary. Select a citizen and then click the granary button. The granary itself must be placed on flat ground, but the farms around it can be planted on hills. Notice the green outlines that appear around the ghost of the granary when you go to place the foundation of the building. These represent where farms can be planted. By choosing a site carefully, you can get as many as eight farms around a single granary. Once the granary is built, the citizen who built it automatically plants a farm. Each farm requires a one-time cost in wood. So we're going to keep needing uh, wood. We could hunt horses for food, because... Don't really know that we know anything else to do with them at this point. We're not that smart. All right, let's let's get you guys back over here to uh, because uh, once the granary is built, Talos, Talos, Talos. Additional farmers can be sent from the town center. Queue up citizens in your town center, then, with the town center still selected, right click on the farm. When the new citizens are created, they will automatically build a farm and start farming. Remember that each farm costs a little wood and requires only one farmer to work it. Are they infinite or is it like. You are people well now. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of food. to locate the gold mines you came to Iberia for. Oh. The mountains northeast of your town I was ready to go with this food to thing. Not enough resources for construction, okay. Talas. Talos. What about now? Stoma. Okay, it costs more than thirty. Talos. But it costs less than sixty. Alright, let's assume that by the time we get to these gold mines, well, ho hopefully we won't get attacked by a million tigers, but we could also kind of hope that uh, we will have enough gold set up for a gold mine by the time these three fellows arrive. Okay, so they have to cross to get to this mountain. Anything could happen to us on this other side of this, you know, shallows here. Could be tigers, there could even be um, hostile people. We have three stalwart chaps. Didn't actually mean to only send men, but that's what we've done. And I think traditionally in these games you would send men off for the dangerous work of exploring a new zone. And occasionally making an autosave, which makes me think the game has crashed just ever so briefly. How many dudes are we supposed to. Uh, 20 citizens. 
locate offshore fish by searching the coastline of the flags, build a dock, one raft, granary. Locating them. Well, I don't know if we have 20 citizens yet. We're at 14. And we'll want to build a settlement once we find this gold. This area is rich in gold. Build a settlement near the gold deposits. Okay. To have citizens mine the gold, select them, and then right-click on a deposit. Up to six citizens can mine one gold deposit. Otherwise, I think we got to get back to headquarters and, uh, I guess just have more and more people doing this. Because I think that's what's... I don't know there's a, a, ma a certain amount of gold we need to mine, but once we've got gold operations going, is that is that enough? I don't know. Don't know where the plot might take us next. Phoenician scouts, I hope you're not talking to me. I've got nothing to send. Okay, well, they still exist in this world. Although the blue suggests it's us, so... Replant farm. Faster farm gather rate. Ah, uh, but that costs me the ability to do faster wood gathering. this. Boom! I don't really care about this technology, but I like the idea that we've got it queued up. Let's learn all of the magical technologies that are available. This one I do not believe is a technology. I think we just replant stuff. Oh, hey, there's more. No, that's not technology. That's just build a unit. Okay. What about up here? Can I learn mining technologies? No. I think, according to what they said, I just win when I build another villager. You are doing an excellent job. Thank you. Ships will soon arrive from Tyre to collect the gold ore you are mining. Mm -hmm. Oh. Here they come. See, Tyrrhenian sloops. Just don't tell me I have to like fight off somebody who's going to attack them or that they're going to attack us, because I'm not prepared for either of those things, game. You haven't given me the skills yet. I blame you, game. <laughs> I tell you, this is a change of pace from uh, earlier today, trying to record an episode for uh, StarCraft II UED First Light scenario. <laughs> this is a very different level of stress from that, just watching these guys come in. Okay. Sure. You are doing great. You're a big boy, JJ. You're so good. The ships from Tyre have arrived. When you have 250 units of gold, they will load the precious cargo on board. Oh. Okay, well this guy has just decided... I guess I, I meant to... Yeah, I didn't mean for him to just do nothing. Alright, will you come up here and help them mine? Because apparently that's all that matters now. You guys gathering wood? Well, I hope you feel good about yourselves, because you're not... You're no longer really the main deal. Not saying it was never important work, but it ain't the thing that we care about right now.
Okay, 250 gold. And that's why we're in the gold age. Maybe the game will explain populate if I attempt to populate. Can I garrison populate this building at this time? Okay. Can't populate yet because we haven't told you what it is. So this ship seems to just not want to do uh, consistently do stuff. I guess it could. Yeah, okay. I got three fishing ships, and they each have a separate thing. Maybe they're not good at sharing. The fishing ships are not good at sharing one spot. Ooh, you're going a whole different path. Explorer reporting. Oh, you're finding dangerous horses. <laughs> horses are dangerous, man. You could go up to a, tri a bunch of wild horses. Well, they're going to run from you instead of attack. But if you mess with them, or if you corner them, boy... They're not just gonna let you murder and eat them. Not like most animals that are just like, oh, humans have come to murder and eat us. And we're out here in the wild. Okay. We had a good run. But clearly it's time for us to be murdered and eaten. <laughs> well, I mean, there doesn't really seem to be much for it except to just uh, keep sending villagers up here because... is proud of the work you've done. Mm -hmm. The gold has been safely transferred to the Tyrian vessels. Now make certain you have 20 citizens, a granary, and a dock. I do. I guess they're taking the gold back, I thought. I thought I needed more gold, but okay. I'm not, I mean, I'm fine with this being it. Each of these scenarios seems to be taking about 25 minutes, meaning these videos are a little on the short side, but acceptable. You have successfully built one of Phoenicia's most important colonies. You have no defenses or military of any kind. Spain to the Middle East, however, will soon attract pirates and rival traders. New colonies will have to be created to protect Tyre's wealth. New colonies full of it undefended is in people. That an empire slowly takes shape. Do we get some pirate action here? Or no. Phoenician scouts and Tyrian merchants have been defeated. Well, that's, that's odd. I thought they were our allies, but, uh, okay. There's an entire mysterious, uh, chunk of trees here. There are some mysterious horses up here. Can you imagine at any moment these horses could have mobilized against our village? How dangerous would that have been, huh? Yeah, so really, we don't have failable scenarios at this point, but, um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could do, like, an ASMR playthrough. So at this point, we're gonna just send a couple of villagers to, uh, to gather gold. Because I'm, I'm enjoying this for some weird reason. It's just a very, very relaxed, uh, doing these scenarios. Um, and, you know, later RTS games would do... Like, StarCraft came before this, and its scenarios were... It had scenarios on how to build units and stuff, but, like... Nothing like this. Then again, StarCraft didn't involve lots of different types of resources. It's just crystals and gas. I don't know why I keep comparing this to StarCraft. It's more like Age of Empires, but... Like, I haven't played Age of Empires in a long time. I revisited Age of Empires 2. Um, just playing around offline, and... I don't think it has... What is that? That's just kind of neat looking. It doesn't have this kind of extensive tutorial either. So this is just kind of... We didn't get any uh, points to spend in this one, but... that This this game is just doing its own thing as far as the extensive tutorials. Okay. 
Well, then this time, nobody got any point. Oh, that's military. The Tyrian merchants got the best economy score. We explored more to the map. Research count? Yeah, because I just researched stuff because I didn't have anything else to do while waiting for the gold to come in. Nobody got any points there. The Phoenician scouts appear to be that line with a population of zero, so they're always there for whatever reason. Anyway, all right. Well, last time I promised that when we came back next time we would be building up, and I think this time, when we come back next time, we're going to be building up. For real this time. See you then.